shoes this morning. It's not because it's cold, because it's not. It's actually super sunny. It's because we're going on the tour of the Churchill Falls Power Generating Station. It's a big hydro generating plant in the middle of Labrador. We camped here last night. It's a big company town. And yeah, it's basically constructed in the middle of nowhere because there's a big reservoir just north of here that they use to make electrical power. We're going on a tour today. Yeah, that's, that's the last four is us. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, let me check. Other okay. This is the Churchill Falls Power Plant. Every year, on average, it produces 34 billion kilowatt hours of energy. That's enough to run 10,000 North American homes for 365 years without pause. Looking good, Ava. You should get a job here. Thank you, man. My hand is very small. I'm small. 200 kilometers from here to Montagne, Quebec. And from Montagne, Quebec to Quebec Power Grid. And from there to the eastern of the United States, where you have New York and all the other states. Going through security. Going down 1300 feet underground. During construction, there were two elevators, one on top of the other. 6,300 people working on the site, 1200 underground complex. And we're moving. Oh. Has that ever happened before? No, it's the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first survived. We survived the elevator. I know. Well, that happens at the Tower of Terror elevator. It always breaks when you go on it. Oh. But then people keep going on it. We didn't get to take a tour, Ava. Ah. Thumbs down. We got stuck in a broken elevator. 
That was pretty exciting. Yep. Were you scared? Uh, a little bit. Yeah? Were you scared, Ayla? Sort of. What would you have done if we really got stuck there? I would probably be repeatedly pressing the alarm button and the call button trying to get help. And what if and you press it so much you broke that? Then I would probably be crying in a corner. You would have remained a call. Yeah. Don't tell anybody you're going to cry. Even if you do. Oh, these are to wear hard I know how hats. to twist wires. Yeah. yeah. You got to wear a hard hat and safety goggles hard and an orange hat. vest. Safety goggles, I think. Here's a satellite phone that you get to take with you when you travel to Trans Labrador. If they have inventory. I don't know how many they have, but they had one. We didn't have to use it yet. And we probably won't have to use it. It was only about 150 miles from Labrador City. Now, and that's where this gets returned. So, odds are good that we made it relatively unscathed. Except for a couple of dings like this. I don't know if you can see on the windshield. All right, we ready? Rest stop. Just a few miles down the road. Look at, there used to be a cable car that they would use to go to carry stuff across the river before they built this bridge. You mean that? Yeah, you see the little, little cable going across the river? My phone would probably fall through if it was at an angle. Woo! I'm not going to hike, Daddy. You're not? Good. Holy smokes. Where is it? Oh my god, Dan. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't move. I saw Don't move. It. Don't go outside, Mom. That wolf is so cute. Holy crap, that was the coolest thing <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> Back there. He's just standing there. Where's he going? He's turning around. Want me to turn around? No, he's going on this side. I think he's looking for food. We shouldn't feed him. No, Dan. Where is he? We definitely should not feed him. Coming up. Oh, he's going down into the ditch. Uh -oh. oh, he's coming right past. Past what? So maybe he's waiting for us to come out. He's going to eat us? So he can eat. Yeah, he wants to. How amazing. He's in, the street. He's in the street. Don't go on the road, buddy. Car can come. He's leaving. That was. That was. Unbelievable. That was so good. Okay. That was you good. believe that? That was it's what I wanted to see. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen a lot of bears. That was awesome. Wolves don't really show themselves. He's still back there. Yeah. Let's just go. I can't believe we just saw a wolf. Can, enough, can, there, can there be enough about can't believing? No, there can't be enough. Can you believe we just saw a wolf? never seen a wolf in the wild. And I didn't even expect that we were going to see one anymore. I really, really wanted to see one. I'm so glad we did. I really, really, really wanted to see a 
Panda? Well, we're at the wrong part of the world for that. Huh? We have to go to China. Hitchhiking? Yeah. Thumbing for a ride? Yeah. I don't know. Somebody will probably catch him. You mean like Kung Fu Panda? Yeah. Does he like to eat steamed buns? What is it that he likes to eat? Dumplings. Dumplings? Dumpling eating champion. Yeah, but that was awesome though. That was... I don't know... I don't know very much about wolves. Oh, I, know. I know that they're like... Oh, know. Sometimes they travel in packs and every now and then there's a lone one that kind of roams around by himself. But is it always a male lone wolf or could there be female lone wolves? And then like, what season is this for them? Are they like thriving in the summer and then they do they go more dormant in the winter and this like in between season close to fall like what is it like for them this time of year so many questions now have to research it yeah there's gonna be a lot of wikipedia and googling later because they're territorial right right so this must be part of his territory or at least his pax territory Trying to incorporate pack. into a new new pack. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's why when you look at that wild wolf not in captivity, this wild animal out in its element, and it's like there's so many questions about what this animal's life is like. You know? In a zoo it's like ah somebody throws in like a pork chop every every other day or and then like a bunch of Vegetables boiled in a bunch of rice. Right. This one was you know, just twice sitting, a week. Or standing there staring at us right in our eyes. Yeah, <laughs> it, it sees like us. Eye contact. And it was intrigued, either intrigued or it was plotting a way to kill us. La 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 Goodbye, Santa phone. Where's the instructions? That's some kind of magical rainbow. We made it past Labrador City. Officially, we're just a few kilometers away from the end of the Trans Labrador Highway. Just past Labrador City to the west. We pulled into this place called Dooley Park, which is maybe 10 minutes west and it's just this big piece of property next to a lake i'm guessing that's Dooley lake we uh didn't really know exactly where to overnight and we wanted to be out of the town somewhere where there's not a lot of light pollution look at that rainbow look at that it's pretty awesome because the sun is still kind of out back there and then it's raining this cloud this gray cloud here is bringing some rain and it's creating this awesome rainbow what are you guys doing all right don't pee over there okay i know they want to go let me go check out inside <laughs> Yoda's gonna pee everywhere. Oh, 
Flappy oh, ears. Oh Flappy ears. Oh ear. Husky. So white. Lab Flappy something. Flappy. <laughs>